Hey there guys, my name's Hey Chen, and today what we are going to be doing is building an, an ender house. So, what you're going to need for this video is Papu block, Papu pillar, Birchwood stairs, Birchwood slabs, Black stained glass pane, Grass block, and any additional flowers as you'd need. So as you see right here, I'm getting all this sort of stuff here, but mainly if you want to have a different roof of any sort, what you will need is just to change the slab and the staircase for the roof which is obviously i've chosen to do birch with a birch stairs and a birch slab but as you see here we've got the papyrus slabs stairs blocks and the roofing and we're going to get any additional sort of a uh, decoration we want to do on the outside of the house when we're done so guys if you do want me to do a second video on this where i do the interior of the house make sure to do hit that like button and comment down below your thoughts so what we're going to do is go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So as you can see guys, you're just going to have to copy this because I, I just pre-recorded this. So let's see. Alright, so there you go. So you're going to be going 1, one 2, 3, 4 down and you're going to be replicating this on each bit. So let's go. And as well guys, if you do need to pause the video at any time just to catch up, make sure to do, do that. But it should look sunk soft like this so far, okay? So then you're going to do the same on the other side as well. So I will um, sort of mention now, as I did said, this has already been pre-recorded. So I am doing a voiceover for this right now. So... If there is a few bits that do change, just to make sure to do change what the shape of the house does look like, because I think when I did this, I did get the width wrong, so the width on the top just shortened down by two blocks, take two blocks away, and then there you go, shorten it down a little bit there. But as you see right now, I'm just going to fill the wall up right here, so then we've got a reasonable height wall up to two to three blocks high. So then once we've done that, as you see, we've got like a little miniature house or structure of a house going on there. But uh, we're going to put the last and next layer on. So you see right there is the front entrance. And we're just going to add some slabs there. Just so it doesn't look a bit too pillory or blocky or too chunky. So then we're going to build the next layer of the wall all the way around as seen on the video. So once we've got this sorted, what we're going to do is just, well, it really does depend. You can either put a door on now or put it on later when you finish it, but it should look something sort of like this so far. So as far here, we're just going to do three blocks on both the sides, but leaving the gap so then it sort of looks like a pyramid right there. So we're going to do four, three on each side, and then do one in the middle, three going up, so then it looks exactly like this. Then you get some salt like this. Then we're going to get the next block, which is the papu pillar. And as you see, what I'm doing right here is we are just putting it down the sides of the bottom of the house, just to give it a little bit of decoration, of course. But you can place this any ways around the house. You can add it on every single corner, just on the front corners. But it really does ma it doesn't matter. But as you see, I did say we are going to be changing it so we do get the house a little bit thinner because we don't want to make it too chunky as it will end up might looking a little bit too blocky. But we want to make this a nice sophisticated house so then it is slim but you can f it's compact, cute and we can fit quite a bit in it. So then it should, the house should look something like this so far. So we've got the walls built, we've got the front entrance all sorted. So now we're going to do the same of uh, what we did on the front entrance. So make that sort of pyramid looking, I don't really know how to describe it, but like pyramid sort of shape. So we're just going to simply do this here. Going to leave the 
and one block out and just simply do that simple as, as that Then you see here we're just going to add some of the pillar papu pillar blocks onto the corners as again you don't have to do this but it is really optional So next what we're going to do is start building the roof or using the birch stairs. So as you see we're just going to make it sort of like a little staircase going two blocks wide on each side as you follow just a little follow like this. Then what we're going to do is sort of make the staircases sort of like look like they're going opposite way around but going up underneath these staircases. So then it gives it a little bit of detail on the pattern so it doesn't look a bit too... Yeah, a little bit cheap. So it should look something like this. It should always start looking like a little cottage. I'm gonna add a little bit of corner there so it's not just empty. Tell you what, let's just break it and we're gonna add uh, slabs on top. We might change this layer, but this. Yeah, we might change this layer, but. Uh, so then what we're going to do next guys is we're going to build sort of curving around so we have the sort of curved edge to the house on the roofing. And we're going to build this up with all the other layers. And once we've done this we're going to use, do the same process on the other side. But we're going to leave this one bit out, which we will come back to later. So I'm going to do a sort of different process here. It might look a little bit weird, but we'll just wait. We'll get on to the next bit where we will sort this little problem out. It is, as again, it is optional if you want to keep this little bit popped out at the side of the house. If you want to just make it straight so then it looks regular, it is your choice completely, but I just decided to have that little bit just popping out. Just to give a little bit of effect for the interior. So again it is optional but what I've done there is just put some slabs on it just to cover it up so it's not empty. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add some birchwood slabs and we're going to add that coming all the way around but uh, what we're going to do is miss the corners here so it's not a complete circuit going round. So we're going to continue it from this other side but you can basically do this filling up all the corners and sides up but not doing these corners here. As you see we're just going to do that so we're going to miss the corners on each side of the house. But we're still going to make the rows as shown in the video. Then we have that little bit cough, that large pyramid cough, so it shows like in the front of the house. So as we see, we're just going to change this. And as again, you can either keep it the same as it was before or change it like this, which I prefer. It looks a lot better. Then finally guys what we're going to do is simply just get the birchwood slabs and as you see right here we are going to just fill the top of the roof in so we do not have that empty space. So overall guys, should look something sort of like this, but I think what we'll do is should get rid of this. Ah, I wasn't thinking it'll look good at all. 
I should get rid of this so it makes it a little bit more flatter out to level with the rest of the roof. Don't know if we'll keep that little bit in, but let's just see how it looks. Um, alright. So, next what we're going to do is get the black glass pane, and we are going to add that into the front of the entrance above of this little design, what we've done here for the entrance. Then we're going to add it right here, two blocks wide. So then, uh, just follow the rest of what it does in the video. As again, if you do need to pause the video, you're more than welcome to. So then you can catch up. So as you've seen guys, what we're going to do next is remove these purple bricks and we are just going to make this same stair pattern as we did before. And then we're just going to push this one blur back and we're just going to fill it in like this. So overall, it should look some sort of like this. Now, if the house doesn't look like this, make sure to do rewind the video and obviously do those bits again. But next, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of decoration onto the house. Now, for me, I didn't decide to add much decoration. But if you do want to add a bit of decoration just to give the house a little bit more spice, a little bit more of an oomph to it, you know, you're more than welcome to. But this is just my design. So what I've done right here that near the front of the entrance of the corner of the house is add some grass blocks in. And what I'm going to do with these grass blocks is make them sort of like flower pots in a way. So I'm going to add trap doors to these on the sides. And then with some blue flowers and purple flowers, what I'm going to do is just simply add these onto the grass blocks. So then obviously it looks like a plant pot in a way. But obviously it isn't, but you get what I mean. And then here we're just going to add in an oak wood door. Was thinking of adding a birch wood, but I was thinking it didn't really suit. So I was just thinking, you know what, I'm just going to add that in. But you can add it either further away or one block further in. And as you see, we're going to get this blue flower. I don't know what it's called, so I do apologise. But we're going to get the blue orchard and white tulips. But you can get any types of flower you want to put these in these exact positions. So overall guys, it should look something like this. So if you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure to give this video a thumbs up. But really, this was my first ever building tutorial where I've done it properly. So if you guys want me to do more building tutorials like this, make sure to do hit your like button. I will be sure to do it more prepared this time because I was... Hey there guys, my name's hey Chen and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be building an ender house. So what you'll need is the two ender blocks and the slab and a bullshit and a piece of crap on that and some jelly whipped cream. So, uh, yeah, let's just... Uh,